there everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi, I hope you're having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, week, month, overnight, evening, morning, whatever you've got going on. Hope you're having a good one. Uh, today we are here with an unboxings, <laughs> um, I guess a special edition unboxing. We're going to be talking all about the kits that I picked up from Diamond Art Club over the Black Friday and um, Cyber Monday kind of sales and events that they had going on. Um, my kits came in a couple of days ago at the time of filming this and um, my initial thought was just work them into your normal schedule like you normally do, uh, one, you know, one kit a week and they'll pop up eventually. Um, but I saw a lot of people doing their like full like hauls of these kits um, that they picked up during the during the special sales. And I was like, oh, that'd be kind of fun to show them all off. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different though. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through all six of the kits. I have them flipped upside down and mixed up so I don't really know which one is which. Um, we're gonna pick one. We're gonna reveal it, do a normal unboxing. However, we're not gonna actually crack open all of the drills because I kind of want to fit them back into their boxes. I just don't have the room in my closet to hang up all six of these. So I want to put them back in their boxes. And then, um, but we will look at the canvases. We're gonna look at the drill field, where our special drills may or may not go all that good stuff, any ideas about enhancement. So they'll be kind of typical unboxings. We'll just be skipping the step of reading through all the DMCs. And then once all six kits have been unboxed, I'm gonna go ahead and pick one that I'm actually going to kit up and start working into my routine of whips. So yes, yet another whip, but um, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm moving along pretty quickly with um, the two like main ones that I have going right now. So I figure that'll be kind of a fun way to incorporate one of these new purchases into some upcoming videos. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, I have um, the kits sitting right next to me on top of Apollo's crate. We've got six of them. So I'm just gonna kind of go down the list or just go down the line and pick one at random. Obviously I can tell the bigger ones from the smaller ones. Let's go with this big one here. And here it is. So as we talked about, this is Diamond Art Club. We can already get a little sneak peek of a blue streep, stripe, streep, 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 <laughs> um, a blue stripe there, which indicates that this is going to be a square drill canvas. So let's go ahead and without further ado, flip this one over. Huh. Dun, 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 dun. This is, oh my gosh, it's one of my, one of my, one of the ones. This is Sedona J Majesty, Sedona Majesty by Abraham Hunter. This is a square drill canvas, 97 by 70 centimeter. Once again, square drill. Oh my gosh. So this was one of my, I mean, all of these really spoke to me and I obviously had reasons for buying all of them, but this was one that when I saw it, I was just absolutely enamored by it. Um, I am a big fan of um, hiking, I'm sure as you know, um, and just outdoorsy stuff in one of my favorite areas. Oh, Apollo is licking the tripod, so you might be shaking a little bit. Hey, hey, that's not to eat. He's literally licking the base of the tripod and shaking it. Oh my gosh. Um, so I love the Utah, Arizona area. Um, some of my favorite spots too, and New Mexico as well. So this just really spoke to me, this landscape, and it just, I just found it to be really stunning. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm just taking the plastic off of it right now. Like I said, we're not gonna go through every single DMC. We're just gonna kind of do an overview of it, um, of the drills, but we will take a look at the canvas. I may need to scooch you back in order to fit, um, to fit the canvas in there, but we will do our best. The other thing, I'm, I will show the toolkit once, but I'm not gonna, sh I don't think I'm gonna go through the toolkits for every single one. <laughs> um, so inside you have your canvas with the drills and some other things wrapped inside. You have your toolkit here. You also have a small little sticker, kind of a little thumbnail sticker. You can put this on the side of your box as such if you organize them sideways, or you can use this in a log book, you can do all sorts of stuff with it. So you've got that. 
And then we also have our toolkit here. Let's briefly go through what's inside our toolkits just for the sake of doing it once if you're new here or fairly new to Diamond Art Club or new to this toolkit. Da -da. Whee! Okay, so you have a diamond painting tray with a stopper. So that just goes in there. You dispense your diamonds in here, give it a good shake so they're shiny side up and you can apply your diamonds out of this tray utilizing your diamond painting pen and little comfort grip that they give you that just goes right over the pen as such. And then they also give you a, what looks to be a seven placer. So one drill at a time, seven drills at a time. So you have that. I thought they gave you more than one multi-placer, but I guess not. Okay, so you also get, because this is a square drill canvas, a pair of Diamond Art Club branded tweezers. You can use these to make finite adjustments to your drills. Some people also place their drills with these. So there's that. We also get a plate or a piece of heart wax. Are there two in here? Yeah, there's two. Okay, Apollo, hey. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can, I mean, obviously the camera's wiggling. He's, I don't know why he's trying to eat the tripod today, but he is. Um, two pieces of pink heart wax. You use this to affix into your diamond painting pen so it has a little bit of stickiness to it. And then we also have a bag filled with more bags. You can use these to store your excess uh, diamonds or drills when you're done. You can even organize some of your drills or diamonds in these bags and work out of them. It's up to you. And then we also have a roll of washi tape. This is just a um, easy release tape that goes around the border of your canvas to prevent the anything from getting on the excess heat adhesive. You can also use this to section off your canvas. So there's that. And then we also have a really cute bunny holding a strawberry. This is a cover minder. It's got uh, two magnets on the back. You put one on the, you know, the cover minder on top, the magnet underneath the canvas over that plastic cover. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> and it um, holds your plastic back. He got up and left. That's what that was. So, um, <laughs> that boy. Um, okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to quickly just store this stuff back in the bag here just to get it out of the way. And that will be the only time that I show the toolkits for these unboxings. They're all going to look pretty much the same. The only difference that you might see is you might not see a pair of tweezers in the um in the round drill can uh, round drill toolkits just in the square but there's that i'm gonna set that off to the side so let's go ahead and dive into this canvas all right here we go here we go oh my goodness this is a big one <laughs> so all of the diamond art club kits come in these little plastic dust covers or protective sleeves so you're always gonna have that. I'm just gonna set that off to the side because ideally I'm gonna get everything back in there. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our canvas. Let's just do the reveal. Let's get it over with. Okay, cool. So this will technically fit on the table. I think this is one of the biggest canvases I have out of this, uh, this order. So we should be okay as far as moving the camera. Um, I'm going to go ahead and roll this back on itself without looking at it. Eyes up, eyes up. Um, all of the Diamond Art Club kits are made with a poured glue method, um, meaning that that glue is just a little bit higher quality. It's pretty durable, um, resilient, so you can kind of fold and flex it without issue. Um, and I just roll the canvas the opposite way that it was packaged, just so it'll lay a little bit more flat when we take a look. So. All right, so we'll talk about number of colors and all that stuff here in just a second, but let's go ahead and reveal this image. I'm already in love. <laughs> Okie dokie. Wow. Oh, I knew it was going to be beautiful. Oh my goodness. You're not getting the entire thing in it in frame, but I think that gives you a good idea of what we're working with here. I love it. I love these colors. This is gonna be a blast to work on. So we get a sticker sheet here. 
Sedona Majesty by Abraham Hunter, 97 by 70 centimeter square drill canvas, 59 colors. And it looks like we have one, two, three Aurora Borealis drills. I'll try to point those out in the, um, in the bag and we'll see if we can find them here. Um, but this is just, it's that Arizona, Utah kind of, yeah, that, it's, there it is for you. <laughs> you've got some horses, you've got an eagle up there. I love the detail of the sky. This is going to look incredible worked up. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the drills. Oh, also in every kit, I won't mention it again, but you get a thank you pamphlet. Just talks about how to diamond paint, a little bit of thank you. Um, you also have some discount codes, some fun stuff there. And then, like I said, this, this is a sticker sheet, so this is also a sticker, so you can cut that larger image out, which I tend to do. So here is our big old bag of drills. Um, you can see the 1AB here, which is, there's kind of one yellow greenish number one and then one a little bit more green and then a white ab so those first three there anything under the number 150 so it looks like we have some right here some there and then there's that white one there so those are our ab's but you can see this color palette if i can get this to color correct um our color palette is a lot of those more neutral hues deeper tones kind of fall vibes but look at look at this rendering this is pretty confetti heavy. You do have some sections of color blocking throughout the sky here and there, but there's so much detail in the greenery and the trees and shrubs here that you've got a lot of confetti. Some line blocking here and there, but this is going to be kind of a more tedious or I guess more time, takes more time. Confetti takes more time. I guess you could use the word tedious because it is a lot of hunting and pecking, but I kind of like it. It's like a puzzle. <laughs> So um, as far as where those ABs go, that lighter kind of green is our number one. That looks like it's, oh, it's more of a yellow on the canvas. It's spread throughout the, the yellow and oranges here and here. You're also getting um, maybe just in those two spots. Yeah, kind of right where the, right in the center of kind of the valley here near the water. And then we also have um, number two, which is more of that green that's sprinkled throughout these trees he here, trees here, some bushes on either side. So you've got kind of the lighter color AB, the deeper color AB coming up either side. And then our last one is the white AB, and that looks like that's scattered throughout the sky here, just a little bit. So there's actually not a, a lot of big sections of AB. Um, as opposed to my current Abraham Hunter whip, which is Cozy Evening, has large swaths of AB going through the sky. This is a lot more subtle and just kind of getting the little leaves and tips of the trees where the sun is kind of hitting those. So a little bit more subtle use of um, AB drills, but I like it. I think those are well placed. And it is a little bit of a darker toned image to begin with. So maybe it's just you know not wise to go super crazy but just look at how well they did they did so well with that sky this is gonna look gorgeous you know i could see myself maybe throwing some additional ab's into the brighter sections of the sky we have little trails of white but maybe that um maybe like a cream ab would serve this area well i'm not sure we'll take a look at it again once i go through to kit it up so this is the first canvas. We have Sedona Majesty from Abraham Hunter. This is a um, this is a 97 by 70 centimeter square drill canvas, 59 colors, and three Aurora Borealis drills. So I'm going to go ahead and pause you while I clean this up and get it back in its box. Um, just because of the size of this one, it isn't going to be an upcoming whip. I already have two really big canvases. So all the large canvases that you see in this kind of haul or this um, un mass unboxing um, are not going to be considered because I just can't do something <laughs> this size on top of my other ones that I'm working on. So if this one you were hoping to see get kitted up, not quite yet, but I think this would be a gorgeous image to do in the fall. I think that's when I'm going to want to do it. So let me go ahead and clean this up and we'll be back with the next kit. Bye. Okay, um, that was actually my very first time putting a kit back in the box after I've unboxed it. I've only ever hung them up 
um, and then put the drills in my in a gallon size bag and store those away. But I'm running out of room to do that, so I do have to box them back up and put them back on the shelf. And it's not as easy as it looks, or you might think it would be, to box up the kit again. So, um, okay, so let's go ahead and move on to a small kit. We'll alternate. So I'm going to pick, I have three of each. So I'm going to just grab this one here. Plop. Okay, so we're going to get right to it. Um, no going over toolkits, anything like that. We're going to reveal the canvas. We're going to show the drills in the bag. The kit that I do decide to select, though, we will go over all the DMCs and we'll do kind of, we'll really break that one down. And then I'm probably going to end up kitting it up soon. So, um, okay, so without further ado, this is another square drill canvas uh, from the color on the side, little square logo here. And this is flip water lilies and there's the little square logo here this is by peggy collins this is a square drill canvas 83.7 by 55.8 centimeter square drill da, 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 da. and this one i actually picked up um i did a lot a series of live streams with mary over at mary making um crafts uh, during the week before the Black Friday release, or that week of Thanksgiving. And so uh, we did a live every day, Monday through Thursday. She did Thursday with um, Bella Art to Nicole because I was spending time with family on Thursday. But um, we did Monday and Wednesday on my channel. And on Wednesday, we talked about this kit. And it just so happened that my mom was on the live stream and she was like, ooh, I really like that one. And I was like, okay, well, you get to pick, because she said that about, like, three different kits. She's, I was like, okay, well, you have to pick one that you want me to actually get and do for you. So after the live stream, she texted me, and she's like, I like that last one, which was Water Lilies. So this one is for my mom. Um, so there is our canvas here. Toolkit. Like I said, we're going to skip the toolkit for now, or for this round. Here's our little small image here. Um, some people like to see what the um, what the cover minders and stuff are. Once I do actually start on this kit, I'll probably do like a little mini reintroduction unboxing and I'll go through what was in the toolkit for this one. I'm trying to keep it all together. But for the sake of speed here, there we go. Um, we're just gonna get right to the canvas so we can look at the rendering, look at where the ABs go, and decide if it's something that I need to do now. <laughs> okay, so set that aside. You have your thank you pamphlet booklet here. And let's go ahead and unroll this. I'm looking up. And we're gonna roll this backwards. I've never done these like kind of marathon, like a speed unboxings. I, I always like tell, I think I did an unboxing of my um, mystery kit, but we didn't open anything. I think I just showed everyone and then I have those scheduled to release individually. So this is the first time I'm opening so many kits at once, but I thought it was a fun way to show everyone. So um, let's go ahead and reveal it. This is crazy looking. It's very psychedelic. Okay, let's go ahead and reveal it, and then we'll go over colors and all that stuff. Holy moly line blocking. Okay, it's not it's not as matte. For some reason, I thought it was going to be a lot longer. Okay, all right, we can, we can handle this. Wow, look at that rendering. This is kind of trippy looking. It kind of, like, gives me, like, oddly, like, vertigo. <laughs> like, am I going to fall into it? <laughs> this is really cool. Okay, so here's the original image. And then here's that rendering. Very interesting. She, I, her style is just very eclectic. I wouldn't assume that this would be one that she'd be into. But of course she picks the one that's going to be pretty time consuming. This is top to bottom confetti and minor line blocking. There's like not a single grouping of a particular color anywhere so of course <laughs> so this is going to be a quite a time consuming kit to work on but it is very beautiful they did a great job with this rendering this must have taken forever so yeah you even have those like deeper colors there at the bottom okay so this is um square drill 
54 colors with one, two, three, four Aurora Borealis drills. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it in the last one, and if you're unfamiliar, Aurora Borealis is just a, referring to a type of diamond that just has this kind of like shimmery iridescent coating that they lay on top of it. So it just is used to highlight and accentuate certain parts of the canvas. So if you didn't know what that is, that's what it is. And we'll see if we can find them in here. We've got what looks to be like a blue, a pink, a lightish greenish yellow, and then an orange. So there's our yellow, there's our orange, there's our pink, and there's our blue. So there's our ABs, and you can see they have that kind of iridescent look to them. So there's that. Um, and as far as where those go, oh, that's gonna be tough. I can see some of the blue already over here. There's some blue here. There's some of the yellow here, yellow here some pinks. It looks like they're pretty, yeah, pinks here. They're pretty well scattered. Here's some more yellows. They're pretty more, much scattered throughout. So I, there is a little bit of color blocking right here of the blue AB. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I the best way to do this usually is to take out the color and just kind of set it where this they're going to be. But it looks like those four colors are fairly evenly spread. Here's some fours some fours, they're fairly evenly spread throughout the water lilies. So what an interesting composition, an interesting piece of artwork, and this rendering is very eye-catching. This is, it has the, almost kind of like an abstract -y feel to it. Ooh, whoa, I'm so sorry, um, but not quite. It's beautiful, I really like it. I think this is gonna work up really pretty. Okay, so that is water lily, uh, water lilies from Peggy Collins, 54 colors for Aurora Borealis drills. Quite the rainbow of color, I really like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause you while I get this cleaned up and we'll move on to, oh, um, I'm not gonna pick this one because I'm already, I've already got some plans for a different kit to give to my mom. So um, this would be something that I'll do at some point down the road and, um, yeah, I just, it's not speaking to me um, right now. Um, I kind of know which one I want to go with. I was just thinking that maybe after opening them and seeing the renderings, I'd have a change of heart. But this one has not given me a change of heart. So <laughs> let's go ahead and clean it up. We'll be back with number three. Bye. Okay, so let's go ahead and select another large one. Okay, what's it going to be? Let's see. Let's do this end since I picked the last one from the other end. Okay, so... Here we go, another larger size box. So let's go ahead and flip. We're just gonna get right to it. Whoop. This is Space Dragon by Pia Paya Wana Chai Wong, I believe is as close as I'm gonna be able to get it. Um, this is a 92 by 65 centimeter square drill canvas. Da -da 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 -da. All right, so another big square. I did not have this kit on my radar until um, Katie over at Diamonds and Washi did the sneak peek unboxing of this. And not only that, but she sent me a message after she did that unboxing and she was like, seriously, you need to get this. And I was like, okay. <laughs> she was like, the rendering, I, it doesn't even do it justice on camera. Like, you're gonna flip when you see this rendering. And I was like, all right, it wasn't on my list, but you know, <laughs> I think that's the first time that she's like directly reached out to me and said, I'm, I'm going to enable you in this moment. You need to get it. <laughs> I was like, all right, I guess I'm getting it. So, and I do love like an outer space kind of sci-fi theme. I'm not super, super, you know, into the, the fantasy dragon, but you gave me a space dragon and that's a little bit more in line with my taste. So, um, okay, so we have our toolkit here. Gonna set that aside. We've got our small sticker here. And here is our canvas. So let's go ahead and get into it. Yay, this is fun. I wish I could do like, I could do these like rap these rapid fire unboxings, but like they're other people's kits, so I don't have to a, spend the money on them or B, store them. <laughs> I'd love to do like six at a time <laughs> and then send them back to everyone. <laughs> like, here's your kit back. Thank you for letting me use it. 
Um, okay, so let's go ahead and roll this back. Whoop. Okay, this doesn't feel super big. I'm literally looking at my whip, Cozy Evening, from Abraham Hunter, and I'm just like, that thing's, I think that's 98 by 70, so, I'm like, you know what? Nothing's big anymore now that I'm working on that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we're all rolled back. And we'll talk about number of colors and all that stuff once we get this laid out and we get a chance to peek at the sticker sheet. All right, Katie, let's see. Da, 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 da. Whoa, whoa, no way, how cool. <laughs> in, in camera, it's like, holy moly, this is really beautiful. The colors, though, I did not realize the color palette was going to be so intense. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Other dimensional, out of this world space dragon. How cool. Very, very nerdy. Is it okay to say? <laughs> I like it, though. This is going to be a lot of fun. This might actually go up in the office. I could see this going up here in the office. Hmm. Okay. All right, so let's take a look. Thank you, pamphlet. And larger sticker sheet, 67 colors. Holy moly, look at that original image there at a larger size. Once again, Space Dragon, it's a square drill and we have one, two, three, four Aurora Borealis drills. Let's go ahead and take a peek and see where we can find those in this pack. Wow, that is, I'm just, I'm still staring at it through the camera. It's beautiful. So, it looks like we've got 114, which is kind of like a bright red AB. Do we see it? Do we see it? Ah, I can see it. There, there it is. Right there. Number two is like a bright blue AB. Do we see it? I can think I see it hiding right in there, just that little handful kind of tucked in there. The next one's an orange, number three, and our last one is number four, a white. So there's the orange and the white. Awesome. Where are these located, you might ask? Number one, I could only guess, is going to be in this kind of nebulous planet situation, maybe? Because it's that bright red. I see some of it through here, through here. Oh, there's a, oh, never mind. There's a whole bunch. It's all throughout here. Cool, and then it looks like we might get some on the back of the dragon's legs, where it's it's kind of reflecting off the dragon's legs. That The detail that these rendering artists do is just, uh, it's something else, I tell you what. And then blue is number two. That's just gonna be in some streaks up here, not too much of it, a little bit right here. Number three is that orange, and that's gonna be a bunch over here in the sun and some of these little bits and particles that are kind of um, the stars in the background, and then it looks like we might have just a little bit here as well in that moon. I'm sorry if you're getting like all of my scalp, because I'm really getting my head in there. <laughs> and number four is going to be here in the sun, a little bit here as well. Um, ooh, and some of these stars. Now here's the thing, I am usually not a huge fan of these individually dotted stars when we're looking at skies or night sky. I think they can look a little out of place when rendered because they just look so like intentional. So it's hard to describe, but it just doesn't look as natural and as soft as the little just splatter. It looks a little bit more, uh, more, I don't know, like, I don't want to say jarring, but they're just, they stand out a lot more um, when you render that out as just a single loop. So what I could see myself doing, and just like they've done here where they make this kind of cross pattern, they did it a little bit here. I might take the liberty of doing those, some more of those crosses here and there, just to break up this kind of confetti just sprinkled around give some of them a little bit more structure, especially in these areas where there isn't any that have that cross. So it might not be true, um, as true to the original image, but I just like that look of giving the stars more of this kind of cross pattern or maybe a diamond shape where I can um, here and there just to break it up a little bit. Um, but 
I think that this looks really, really good. I'm just curious to see as I'm working on the section, I might stop myself and be like, eh, do a couple more of that color to give it a cross or something like that. But this looks really good. At least it's not all white stars. There's a lot of different colors here. So that will also help to blend that background a little bit. But this is gorgeous. I love, love, love this. It's there's so much here. I want to know more about this artist and more about this piece. Like it has, I can't tell if this is a dragon in motion and what we're seeing is the motion um, of the wings flapping or if we're trying to say that this, this dragon actually has three sets of wings. <laughs> and if it does, that's cool too. <laughs> so anyway, um, enough about this dragon. I love it. Katie, you're right. This is rendered beautifully. Um, lots of, it's going to, it's not necessarily confetti down here, um, but you're gonna have to do these little dots um, and you have some color transition. So it's a, it's a mix. There's some line blocking, there's some color blocking with 310, um, some color blocking here with these reds. So it's a little bit of a mixed bag, but there is a decent amount of confetti too. So I think this one could appeal to both styles. If you like confetti and or color blocking, you'll probably really enjoy this one. So let me go ahead and get this packed up. This is too big for me to work on right now. 92 by 65 centimeter square drill canvas space dragon, Pia Wana Chai Wong. And this is amazing. I need to look this artist up. So uh, 67 colors, four ABs. That's not, it's not gonna be the one for me this time, but um, I can't wait to get started on it at some point in the future. Is there a dragon's event? Does Katie have a dragon's event? I think she needs to do a dragon's event because then I'll have a reason for the season. <laughs> this is my only dragon, so. All right, next, okie dokie. Okay, so I just snagged the next smallest on the opposite end. I'm just kind of doing this side, this side. So I already know what it is. I only had one round drill canvas in this entire, um, this purchase. I purchased the canvases based on the artwork and if it spoke to me and I honestly, I. I need to start looking at it, but I don't look at drill shape. And I want more rounds in my life, but I end up with squares. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Apollo. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'm so, I'm so, I am so. Are you ready? Flip. This is Her Summoning by Ivy Dolomore. This is a round drill canvas, 50.7 centimeter by 65.8 centimeter. I believe this was from the Cyber Monday release of kits. And I, I mean, it's Ivy Dullamore, so that was already a done deal. <laughs> and, um, and I think it's so cool. I love the interesting different pieces that Diamond Art Club will once, once in a while throw out to us. And this was another one that I think was pretty polarizing, but it's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. So um, we've got our toolkit. The only difference you'll notice in that one, because it's round, is you, you probably won't have tweezers. So just be aware of that. Here is our small sticker. And let's go ahead and get to it. This is so much lighter than the other one, than the large ones. And even that other one that was in a smaller um, box, Water Lilies, was just long, you know. So this is kind of a nice medium size. Let's set our plastic over here. We've got our drills. Okay, so let's roll this back. I can't wait, I cannot wait to see this. This might be, even though we still have two to go, this might be my favorite image from the purchases I made for me. Um, I'm right behind us, where you're looking, right behind us we have Midnight Laundromat. Um, what is that? Uh, Cauldron of Myrrh and Moon Thief all in a row on the wall. So, yeah, as you can tell, I like Ivy Dolan more, and I think this will look great. Oh, I already started revealing it. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. All of the things. Give me more of this, please. Okay, so you can't really see the top. I'm going to scroll her down. There you go. So there's that. And then I'm going to I'm going to flip it the landscape way, but here's a look at that. And then here's a little bit more of it. This rendering though. Okay. Okay. Breathe. 
breathe, just breathe. Okay, it's fun, it's funky, it's weird, I love it. Um, it's very unique. All right, so here is our big sticker sheet. So I can't tell, She I, she's kind of like um, a, some kind of like winged demon, devilly kind of thing. I'm assuming her breath is poison. I believe her tears may also be poison. So um, yeah, it's just very strange. She's got the uh, moon phases around her and then kind of almost some graffiti like artwork in the background, little hearts everywhere. So I feel like she's some kind of demony something of love. I, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just a costume and who knows? Very interesting. Um, but it's definitely giving me kind of Valentine's Day vibes. This is 60 colors. One, two, three, four Aurora Borealis drills here. And this is once again a round drill canvas. Got the little hearts. This It's just so cool. I, I, I want to message Ivy and see if she would respond on Instagram and be like, what's, what are we doing here, you know? <laughs> So here's our thank you little sheets there. Let's see if we can find those ABs. This is a smaller package, so they might be pretty tightly wound in there. It looks like our first one is a deep, like candy apple red. There it is. We also have more of a pinkish magenta AB. Is, nope, that's not it. Um, but that is one. There's a lavender AB, so that's number three. But we're looking for like a pinkish magenta. That's that red. Ah, here it is. You can barely see the drills because they're just sitting at the top, but they're, it's right there. Hey, buddy, your butt, your butt is on the tripod. <laughs> and the last one is that blue. You can see that right there, that blue. So there are our ABs. This is so small compared to some of those larger squares that we've been dealing with. I'm torn. I'm very torn. This is my favorite one out of all the ones that I ordered. And I really want this to be the one, but I, I don't know if I should save it for Valentine's Day for like a February kit. I don't know if I am, if I'm capable of waiting that long. Uh, okay, what I can tell you is the, one of the reasons this really jumped out to me as well is because it's around, I have the ability to use DP with sparklers, um, the sparklers on it. They have sparklers for squares, but they're round drills on a square canvas, and I'm still on the fence about whether or not I like that. But I saw this, and I was like, this is the per perfect, perfect opportunity to put every single, all of this green, the hazy green, coming from her mouth in that kind of fog or poison smoke on her tail where you see that on her arm, that's all going to be glow. I'm going to glow that anywhere you see that. And I'm going to try to find some multiple shades of it. If not, I'll have to figure something out. But I'd like that all to be glow. I'd like the, um, the white on the moon phases to also glow. Um, I think even some of these background shapes and figures here, the outlines around the hearts here, here, um, I'd like those also to kind of glow. Um, and I probably am going to do a lot of enhancement as far as sparklers to some colors in her hair um, to give that more dimension and most likely to maybe some of the, uh, the lighter colors because um, there's only a little bit of AB here. So maybe some of the lighter colors of her kind of bat demony looking wings um, I will also do in like a bright red or like a blood red sparkler. So this, when I saw this, I was like, I'm going to use this as an experiment of like what I can do with Tima's products. So, uh, yeah, Ugh. I want to get, I, I want this to be the one. I want this to be the one. Let me, I'm not going to roll this up. I'm going to, I'm not going to put it away just yet. I'm going to set it off to the side. Let's see what else we have and then we'll make some decisions. But I, uh. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, although pro I've probably already made my selection. By the time this video is over, we'll have a decision, but let me know what you would have picked. So, okay, we're just gonna move right on, no pausing. Let's do the last large one. Keep in mind that this, I know what it is now, because we're, you know, um, by, what is that called? Um, 
by whatever, like, because of the only two left, I know what it is. What is that called? Okay, so this last one is a mystery kit. And because it's a mystery kit, and I don't want to disclude people from the rest of the video that might not want to see the actual canvas, I'm just gonna share with you what's on the front of this box, the details that we have that are, you know, public knowledge um, on the box. And this will be a separate um, special edition unboxing of its own that I'll do in the near future. I just don't wanna do that to people. I want, um, I, I don't wanna include any like surprise spoilers. And I, I didn't put any sort of warning at the top of this. So at first I was just like, whatever, I'll show everything. But I don't wanna do that to people that don't wanna see it. So it will be its own special, special edition <laughs> unboxing. And we're just gonna show the front of the box. So if you don't even wanna see that, now is the time to maybe look away or pause this or skip ahead like 30 seconds or so we're not going to spend a lot of time on this so but this is everything that you would be able to see on the diamond art club site okay so this is a square drill canvas it's called mystery landscape by david mclean this is a square drill canvas 98 by 70 centimeters um, I don't have information on number of colors or ABs or anything like that. There are some other channels that have done unboxings of this where they do the spoilers and the details and stuff, but I'm going to do that another time. I just don't, I don't want to surprise anybody with a spoiler in the middle of this video. I think that would be kind of lame. So even though I almost did. <laughs> so I'm going to set this aside. It's very heavy. You're getting a lot of canvas for your money there. Um... There we go. Okay, so now we are on to our final kit for this um, this situation that we're in, <laughs> this unboxing. So without further ado, this is a square drill canvas and we are taking a look at Bouquet by Ivy Dolomore. This is a um, 50.8 by 70.7 centimeter square drill canvas. <sighs> This is, this is another one that I guess I could say is, it's the first one that I saw that from the, from the releases for Black Friday that I was like, absolutely. I mean, of course. I've seen this image as well as her summoning on Ivy Dolomore's social media since I started following her. And not that I was particularly waiting for the day that this would be a diamond painting, but it's always struck me as a beautiful image, so. Yes, yes, yes. Apollo's literally laying right where I typically stand. I have to like do some fancy footwork to not crush his little body. Okay, so we have our toolkit here. Ba -da 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 -da. We've got our, let me set this aside. We've got our small sticker. And here is our canvas with the drill. So let's go ahead and crack that open. I might have to, I might have to kick him out. He's like right where I need to be. Let's see. Okay. Set that aside. Oh, this is going to be a tough call. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this back. Apollo, I do have to have you move, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Eh, there we go. At least give me a couple, a couple inches to move around. Okay, rolling it back, I'm not looking. Apollo's looking. Okay, are you ready? We'll talk about colors and everything here in a moment. For now, let's just go ahead and reveal this. I'm gonna go ahead and reveal it landscape. We'll look at it the um, the true way portrait mode and then we'll put it back to landscape. Oh. I mean, dang it, I really like this one. <laughs> the butterflies, the rendering of the butterflies. She's beautiful. There it is. Sorry, I'm like speechless. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Anthony. Okay, 
sorry, I'm, I'm, I should probably be talking. Okay, so this is, here's our um, thank you pamphlet sheet. Larger sticker sheet, once again, Bouquet Ivy Dullamore. This is 31 colors. One, two, three Aurora Borealis drills. 50.8 by 70.7 centimeters square. There's such different images. Okay, let's look at the drills real quick. Okay, so our first one is gonna be a blue AB, it's 101. I can see just a little touch of that there. The second one's a green at, I believe, 106. Yep, there's just a little handful. And then, of course, our white AB 141 here. Sorry, Apollo's gnawing on his Nyla bone. And one of his favorite things to do now is press the Nyla bone against another surface for, like, leverage. And it always ends up being a loud, a loud um, circumstance. Okay, so our first drill is that blue drill. Just a little bit, just some... This is... This is maybe maybe i've said this about a couple of canvases but this rendering is incredible this is fantastic some of some of the best i've seen just these little hints they're just going to give a little glimmer around the eyes here and then some in the butterfly's wings and then we have little touches of them in the flowers as well it's very subtle um two is the green we have that up here in the green area as well, just here and there. And then the white AB is going to be once again here in some of the greenery in the whites of her eyes and just touching here and there on her face. Um, it's like the little, it's almost like some of the petals or maybe some of like the, um, what is that called? like the fluffy stuff from flowers, if you know what I'm talking about, is kind of, it's kind of trickling down from, from her hair and it's just kind of catching on her cheeks or just kind of falling past her. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oh no. And they did such a good job with the skin tones too. Okay. So here's my dilemma. Um, I was, I had my heart set on that her summoning because it's around and I tend to only want one square in my life at any given time because squares do take a little bit longer. So I feel like I can make better progress if I have round drill kits as my like kind of side whips. Um, I could also see this being the perfect image to do in the spring. I could absolutely see this being kind of like when the snow melts and the, the sun starts to come out again and you start to get the flowers again and the insects, like I could only imagine how much, how much fun it would be to work on a kit like this during that time of year. I think that would be amazing. Um, the last thing is, I, I mean, I'm gonna have to order special drills for the other one, but I want to do these butterfly wings majority in, uh, maybe not majority, but a good portion in crystal. I think they'll look gorgeous having that kind of crystallized look to these deeper oranges and reds. So I wanted to do something special with the butterflies in this one as well. Um, so I would just have to place the order for those drills, which I'm going to have to do with her summoning anyway. So I'm kind of torn. I'm torn um, because this is gorgeous. Um, but I also think this is just so funky. Look at what what a juxtaposition it is be between these two kits from the same artist. So here is Bouquet. I'm sorry, once again, these are sideways. Um, but here's her summon. I mean, what a difference in in, in look, in style, in feel. Ivy, it's, it's one of the reasons why Ivy Dolomar is probably my favorite artist to diamond paint. Um, okay, I think I know what I want to do here. Um because I have less of a connection to this and the time of year in Valentine's Day, it, that's not really whatever, you know, it's not, it's not really a holiday that I'm like particularly care about. And I do have a number of red, uh, round sparklers that I can at least get started with this. Um, I think I'm going to go with her summoning. This just has a lot more impact to me from both like a visual standpoint and a little bit of an emotional standpoint for some reason this is kind of a special occasion like I want to save this for the right time of year to really invoke that um so 
even though I think these are both amazing pieces from an amazing artist, her summoning is going to be the winner. Um, I I kind of knew that going into it because I was like, I can't do another square was one of the main reasons. Um, there is a decent amount of color blocking here through her um, her chest here, a little bit in her face. We've got uh, quite a bit of color blocking in the background. Um, and then it starts to get a little bit more confetti through her hair. So it's good, a good mix. It's a good mix. And a lot of those neutral pinks hues, those rose golds, Katie, <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a beautiful canvas. So, um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. I'm going to clean them both up. I think this is the end of the video. I'm going to be recording a kitten chat for her summoning um, to be out sometime in the near future. I'm also going to kind of um, hand chart my enhancement drill so you can kind of see what that process looks like for me and place the order on DP with sparklers so I can get those in because I'm going to need more than what I have on hand and um, and we'll get going on that kit. It's And it's also very different from the kits I'm working on right now. I have Cozy Evening going and Winter from Alphonse Mucha. Her summoning is coming in and saying, let's get wild. <laughs> so <laughs> um, I'm very excited. Okay, all right. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members, anyone that you think might take some value out of it. Let me know which one of these kits was your favorite or which ones you decided to select for um, for your Black Friday or Cyber Monday purchases. If any, were you able to, able to hold out and not pick up anything at all? Um, six for me was um, a decent number, but there was definitely more that I wanted to get, but um, I was trying to keep it to just Ivy Dolomores, and then before you know it, Katie tapped me on the shoulder, my mom tapped me on the shoulder, Abraham Hunter tapped me, not directly, but that, that Sedona Majesty, I couldn't pass that up. And um, which other ones? I'm already forgetting. Um, was that it? Hold on. What am I missing? Oh, the mystery kit. Um, I figured I'd pick one mystery kit if they were going to release one, and I've been kind of starting to enjoy working on landscapes now that I'm working on Cozy Evening, so I figured I'd roll the dice on a landscape. So yeah, um, let me know what your favorites of this were, like I said, what you might have selected or not, or it's on your wish list. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members, anyone that you think might take some value out of this content. Otherwise, happy placing, and we'll see you next time. Bye, 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 bye.